Well, it's lambing season for us uh, out here on the farm, and um, it hasn't started terribly well. We lost a ewe uh, after some heavy weather. Uh, she obviously had twins. She's very big, so she's gone. And uh, now we have another one here, one of our older ewes, one of the Suffolk ewes, and she's got a uh, prolapsed uterus and a prolapsed rectum both at the same time. She's very heavy. If you just have a quick look down there, you'll see how heavy she is. Um, and to treat that, uh, obviously we can't leave her with a prolapsed uterus or prolapsed rectum because uh, both dangerous and uncomfortable for her well-being. So we've brought her into the pens and uh, for her um, uh, prolapsed vagina, if you like, we're using one of these instruments here. This gets inserted uh, inside the animal and then tied up around the back of the animal. And you can see we're using um, a harness there and some baling twine. We use baling twine for a lot of things uh, just to get her to uh, keep that attached. But that's left us with the problem of how do we protect the prolapse um, rectum because it's poking out the back of the animal. And unfortunately, you don't have to look at that because she's facing the right way for you. But if you can imagine your uh, poo tube, if you like, is, uh, is poking out the back um, and it's about the size of an orange, then um, she's in quite a bit of discomfort. And uh, above and beyond that, um, she also has the chance of infection. And uh, being in here in a pen, she has to you know, turn around and rotate and sit down in the hay. And um, you know, because she's not far off giving birth either. So we have to try and protect that. Now we have been using um, a rubber glove, uh, which has just been, we put some tags on the outside of it there and um, fitted that over the, uh, the prolapse. And, um, but she seems to be pushing those off or when she turns and stands um, and even just the weight of the poo, it's um, pulling them off. So we've been racking our brains trying to come up with uh, some ideas and you really have to think on your feet in a situation like this. So what I've done is, uh, and what I'm going to do, is uh, friends of mine in the fishing industry or recreational fishing industry will recognise one of these. These are reel covers and um, they have a Velcro tab so that you can open them up and place them around your fishing reels to protect them from salt water and dents and scratches and whatnot corrosion and other elements and uh, so this is actually going to be adapted with some baling twine and it's, it's actually going to sit cupped over the uh, the prolapse and then we'll just baling put some uh, some tags on it and baling twine it up and it should be able to be uh, easily removed the poo should be able to fall out of it and it should be able to protect her enough so that we don't get any infection um, in a rectum and she can have successful birthing which is what it's all about for her and us Yep, settle down, girl. You'll be right. And um, so we're going to go ahead and design that, and uh, yeah, go from there.